Well, howdy everyone. It's the third day. As you can maybe tell by my safety glasses, we're back at the school. Um, because we're at school, we didn't really have any time to work um, on the robot. And because we have homework, uh, we did all our homework for the first, for over the weekend. We did it all on Friday. That's commitment, let me tell you. But um, now we got more homework tonight, and we've got another robot to think about. So we haven't done that much to anyone, but it is a good time to reflect. So, Ian, your thoughts? Um, overall, I think it works a lot better than I thought it would. I mean, we kind of threw it together, and the lift is really sketchy, and that's kind of the part I worked on. But it, it actually functions, so pretty pretty happy with the design. So when you're watching the first game animation, and you see you know, all of this, and it looks really, really complicated and intimidating, just what we've done over the weekend really shows that pretty much any team, given like a couple months, definitely, can pull this competition off. So we don't have an arena, so obviously we can't actually do any autonomous, but I think this year the autonomous part of the game is going to be really important, and it's kind of interesting how they set up the center goal and the IR beacon, that it's not just a drive and scan where it is, but it's actually in the center, so you have to circle around, that's interesting. Honestly, I think it's been a lot of fun last weekend. I think everybody in our camp really likes the game. Unfortunately, uh, the game is one thing we wanted that didn't happen, and that's not even a water game. It's actually, they didn't have a very simple arena. It would have been nice if we had had easy to build things. Uh, that's really not the case. So our practice arena at the moment uh, is non-existent. We have balls and we have uh, the tube of proper diameter it doesn't roll around now. So our demonstration in that regard uh, isn't going to be very good. 